most bloggers fail because they don't realize that blogging is a full-time business that requires so much attention, so much focus, so much quality, so much value, and um, they don't even take as much time as possible to research their audience and know the kind of things or the kind of content that their audience is attracted to. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Francis Eze, and I'm all about teaching you how to make money online and giving you quality information that concerns every other thing surrounding making money online. And if this is your first time of coming to this channel, you are super welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, you are also welcome. And I would indulge you to like this video, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon so that whenever I drop hot content like this on how to make money online, you would be among the first to be notified. Anyone can actually set up a blog and start blogging. But it's only very few that would successfully give their blog the real attention, the real work, the real consistent and persistent it needs to become a full-fledged successful business. And make money through your blog. There are some mistakes you should avoid because if you make those mistakes, you, you will have serious problems right from the beginning. And don't compare your blog with hobby blog because hobby blogs are actually a fun blog. They don't require as much attention as a blog that you would want to turn to a full business. And all over the internet, there are so many informational content on mistakes to avoid, you know, why blogging or the things not to do so that you can actually have a successful blogging experience and all that. That's fine. And those information are good. I've seen many of them, and I know you must have come across so many of them if you're a blogger. But what I want to say is that in this video, I'm taking a totally different dimension to the mistakes to avoid as a blogger. Because these mistakes, make them, and you will start, it will affect everything about your blogging experience. You may even be dead on arrival with your blogging experience. Okay, so, and these mistakes are just five in number. You have to focus and make sure that you don't make this mistake because when you make this mistake, trust me, you're not going to, you know, have it fine with your blogging experience, especially if you want to monetize your blog, if you want to make money with your blog. If you're doing hobby blogging or if you're just blogging for fun, you know, just using your blog as a diary, no problems. You can do anything you want and you and still go scot free okay but if you actually want to make money through your blog and you want to build a business out of your blog then you need to avoid these five mistakes okay so without taking much of your time let's hop right into it the first one is lack of value or less value many blogs make this mistake of giving out less value or giving out content that don't that doesn't have value the first thing you should ask yourself before even getting started with your blogging business or with your blogging venture is you need to ask yourself some certain questions such as what are you good at? What are you, what do you have so much experience or information or what do you have, you know, passion or zeal for which you can actually create content on and pass this information or content to your audience and it's going to be beneficial to them. So you need to actually take so much time to research, do a very big, you know, introspection to know the things that you are actually good at or things that you can actually give information or content so that your audience or your traffic or your customers can actually, those information can actually help them solve a particular problem or understand a particular concept or help them move from point A to point B. That's the way you create good value thoroughly research content. The next mistake is lack of quality. I see so many blogs out there, you know, it lacks quality. Today they are doing this, the next day they are doing all that. Okay? Don't think that blogging is all about pushing out content all the time. The content you put out there, how, what's the quality? How are they... If you are writing on, if you are writing on some complex topics and all that, or on a complex industry, 
you need to do a thorough research before you put out your content. And while putting out your content, if as you mean you did some research and you cite and you need to cite your references and all that. Make your make your content, make your in fact from the not just the content of your blog, but your blog outlay, the way you lay out, you know, the way if someone comes to your blog, the first thing they see, the way your blog looks, what is the color combination? What is your theme color? What is your how do you arrange your blog so that it can easily you know, portray quality. So many blogs that lack, I see so many blogs that you just come into the blog, it's looking, the whole outlay is looking scattered. You are seeing this color here, you are seeing that color. In fact, the color, the color mixture doesn't even resonate well with the viewer. And that way you start getting low viewership and low traffic and serious and less engagement. Okay, so make this mistake and trust me, your blogging experience is going to be bad. Right to the next mistake you should avoid, which is no focus. Make sure that your blog, every blog, or if you are blogging to actually monetize, your blog should be focused on a particular niche or a particular industry or a particular topic. You don't have to move from one place to another. Okay, you don't have to because people that come to your blog today they want to your visitors or your traffic they want to come again and again because your blog helps them to solve a particular set of problem and it's focused on a particular topic. So you don't have to keep jumping from one topic to another because at the end of the day, you would most likely stay away from the cost. And once you stay away from the from from the cost or from the or from the niche or topic that you are focused on, you start losing your viewers, you start losing your, your traffic, you start having reduced engagement rate. And with this, you cannot properly monetize. And that blog won't come out successful as a business. Okay? So the next one is lack of authority. Yeah, you may not really have so much immediate influence on lack of authority. Because authority is built, you know, over the years. By putting out quality content, you know, being consistent, being patient with your blog. You need to do, you need to give out valuable content, quality content. You need to be focused on a particular niche for you to gain that authority and, um, you know, gain that, how, how do I put it now? You know, gain that um, huge viewership or trust from your viewers. So you may not really have much to do on this if you're a beginner, but if you are a blog that has been there for long, you need to make sure that you are pushing out next level content, creating good personal connections with your audience and getting so much eyeballs on your content. You need to be in front of your audience. That's the way to create authority in your niche or in your industry. Okay. And also make sure you interact very well with your fans and turn your fans into your evangelists. Let them be let them be the voice that speak about your blog and speak about your content and speak about your brand. And above all, focus on specific topic or industry, like I said earlier. Okay, so right to the last mistake which you should avoid as a blogger. That is lack of engagement. And lack of engagement could come when you make the first four mistakes I've talked about. You don't give good value. You don't give good quality content. You don't give. You don't give them. Um, you don't focus on a particular niche or a particular industry on a particular topic. Your engagement will massively drop. Then one more thing you can do to increase your engagement is you have to market your content. When you see a particular content is actually good and it's going to resonate with so many persons, you could actually spend a little, you know, funds to market this content. Make let it be seen to as many persons as possible. You could use your social media platform and so many other means to market your brand, to market your content or to market the services that you render through your blog so that so many persons will engage with it. And with that marketing, you get so many persons to view your content, to, to know about your blog, to know about your, your services and, and your value in a short period of time. It mustn't all be organic traffic all the time. 
go for paid traffic to get that huge engagement because with higher level of engagement comes higher chances of monetization. A blog that has 10k traffic per month will definitely make less amount of money compared to a blog that has 100k traffic per month. Okay, so in conclusion, blogging is is much more than just typing out there on your screen and clicking publish. There are a whole lot of work to be done. And besides, don't, you don't have to feel bad if you realize that you've been making one or two of these mistakes or even making you know, the five of the mistakes. You don't have to feel bad. It's actually a new day to start afresh or to implement the corrective measures. Okay? All you have to do, just always realize that the more you blog, blogging is a journey. The more you blog, the more experience and the, and the much more better you become. Okay, so now that you know the five mistakes to avoid, all you just have to do is to go back to your drawing board, re-strategize and start getting it right. Okay, and don't sleep on it because if you make any of these five mistakes, it's going to affect the way your blog comes out here. It's going to affect your monetization and it's going to affect everything that concerns your blog. Okay, so having been with me in this video up to this moment, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. And besides, if you've not subscribed, I would indulge you to subscribe, like this video and click the bell notification so that whenever I drop good content like this, you'll be among the first to be notified. Okay. See you in my next video.